got a big bag, let me get that Show me where your friends at, we can get that Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game Show me where the red at, where the blue at Show me where they flip that, where they bitch at Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game y'all it's your boy alex make sure you like make sure you subscribe because y'all know i hate when you treat me like the side piece y'all know i hate when y'all treat me like i'm y'all slow tuesday like and subscribe man don't do me like that yo this is the third and last time i'm gonna tell y'all muscles don't matter this tyson fury and deontay wilder fight just proved it all right tyson fury is 30 percent body fat okay probably at best look at this guy And he whooped Deontay Wilder's ass, not once, not twice, but three times. And not only did he whoop his ass three times, it was mainly because he was in better shape. He was more conditioned. He had more stamina. Dude talking about some, oh, should they fight again? Why would they fight again? This dude got knocked out by someone who 35% body fat with a dad by and had Lil Nas X's best troop of dancers with him going down to the ring. Not no twerkers, not no Vegas girls, but Lil Nas X's best dancers going down with him to the ring and he still whooped that man's ass and you know why you know why because i'll be telling you niggas and when i say niggas i mean n-e-g-u-s look it up if you don't know what it what it means but you niggas y'all don't even work out right y'all just work out for bitches deontay wilder is your typical black man in the gym he go to the bench press he do his bridge press he curl and he don't do nothing else. No leg work, got chicken legs, got no stamina because he don't run, got no stamina because he probably smoke weed, got no stamina because he probably drink Hennessy. All he got is muscle that looks good for chicks. That's it. It don't mean shit in the fight. It don't mean shit for running a marathon. It don't mean nothing. He can't even last. I keep telling y'all muscles is for women. Only women think because you got muscles, you can win a fight. And dudes, for some reason on YouTube, think that dumb shit. I can't st Dudes going to get all bolted up thinking they about to be slapping people around. You can't fight. You don't know how to punch. You ain't got no stamina. All you're going to do is throw haymakers, just like Deontay Wilder did. Now, don't get me wrong. If they catch you with said haymaker, of course it's going to hurt. But it's slow as hell, and they can only throw it five times. So if you can manage to dodge it five times, you're going to whoop their ass. It's literally that simple. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Like, look, muscles don't matter, okay? Take care of your whole body. Y'all niggas need to run on the treadmill. Y'all need to run up a hill. Y'all need to work on your legs. You need to work on your stamina. Stop. Deontay Wilder is like your typical dude from the hood who don't do nothing but bench press and text bitches. That's Deontay Wilder. That's what he do. That's, it. That's all he care about. That's all you care about. And this is where it gets you. On your ass, his wife crying. And at least, look, hey, at least he ain't get his ass whooped on Black History Month this time. You took this L by yourself. Don't put us in your L. You don't represent us. Only Floyd Mayweather represents us. Because we can't count on Floyd Mayweather to knock out a Mexican every single de Mayo. Nah, I'm just joking. This don't got nothing to do with race. But look, I'm going to tell y'all for the last time. Muscles don't matter now listen y'all know me i promote fitness and i promote staying in shape but i promote just that as in running working on your core working on your legs working on your arms i even promote neck movement i promote being in shape as a full body workout y'all dudes go and work out for bitches and work out for intimidation factor and when you run into a dude who knows muscles don't matter when it comes to fighting they realize your ass can't even fight you <laughs> you out there throwing these slow ass haymakers man Come on now. Now I'll give Deontay Wilder a little bit of credit. For 35 years old, he did switch his fight style up a little bit. He tried to do something a little different. But at the end of the day, he has no technique. He has no stamina. Muscles don't matter. You can tell Tyson Fury trains as an athlete. There's a difference between training to actually be in shape, guys, and training for the aesthetic. This is why I said Deontay Wilder is your typical black man. He's training to look good for women. He's not training to be an athlete he's not training to go the distance and he's relying on if i catch you with that right hand you're gonna drop 
Okay, that's lazy. That's bad practice. That's bad work. No, they shouldn't fight again. I don't want to see this the fourth time. Now, to be fair, this was a great fight. But like I said, this once again proves my point that I've already proved three times. Muscles don't matter. Okay? Make sure y'all, guys, make sure your stamina is right. All right? Make sure your legs are right. Make sure your mind is right. Make sure your money is right. Make sure everything is right. If you think you're just going to get by on life off of being big, it ain't, ain't going to work. And even with the women, it ain't going to work because you're going to, all that muscle going to be, all that blood going to be in your muscles and ain't none of it going to be in your D. <laughs> and when they find that out, they're going to stop talking to you too. Then you're going to take an L twice because you're going to be knocked out in the streets thinking you're tough and you're going to be alone in the bedroom because they know you got the shrimp. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. But seriously, guys, make sure you take care of everything, okay? Don't just work out for the aesthetics. Be a complete athlete, just like you should be complete and balanced in life, period, all right? But it was a great fight. I will say that. I had fun watching it. I enjoyed it. But now I'm about to go ahead and go to sleep because I got to get up early in the morning. I'm Alex, and I'm out. Peace.